this video, we'll discuss various types of diodes and their functionalities. In this part, we'll cover PN junction diode, Zener diode, Schottky diode, light emitting diode, and photodiode. The remaining diodes we'll cover in the next part. The PN junction diode is one of the most important and commonly used components in electronics. It is the simplest form of semiconductor device, yet it is used in almost every electronic circuit. Here, we will understand what a PN junction diode is, how it works, its key feature, and some of its main applications. And this diode is made by joining two semiconductor materials, one P-type and one N-type. The P-type region contains a large number of holes, which are positive charge carriers, while the N-type region contains a large number of electrons, which are negative charge carriers. When these two regions are joined together, a region forms between them known as the depletion layer. This layer acts as a barrier to the movement of charge carriers. The diode has two terminals, called the anode and the cathode. The anode is connected to the P-type material, and the cathode is connected to the N-type material. The symbol of a diode has a triangle pointing towards a vertical line. The triangle represents the anode and the vertical line represents the cathode. Current can flow only from the anode to the cathode, not the other way around. Now let's see how the diode works. When the diode is forward biased, the positive terminal of the supply is connected to the anode and the negative terminal is connected to the cathode. This reduces the width of the depletion region, allowing charge carriers to move freely across the junction. Electrons from the N region combine with holes in the P region and current begins to flow through the diode. In this condition, the diode conducts electricity. In reverse bias, the polarity of the supply is reversed. The positive terminal is connected to the cathode and the negative terminal is connected to the anode. This increases the width of the depletion region, preventing the movement of charge carriers across the junction. As a result, almost no current flows, except for a very small leakage current. This shows that a PN junction diode conducts only in one direction, which is from anode to cathode. This property is called unidirectional current flow, and it is the key feature of a diode. It allows the diode to act like an electronic one-way valve, controlling the direction of current in a circuit. Now, let's discuss its applications. One of the most common uses of a PN junction diode is in rectification. In power supplies, it converts alternating current, or AC, into direct current, or DC. Without diodes, DC power supplies and chargers would not work. These diodes are also used for polarity protection, so that circuits are not damaged if a power supply is connected the wrong way. They are used in signal demodulation to recover information from amplitude modulated signals and in voltage clamping circuits to protect sensitive components from voltage spikes. Some of the most common diode part numbers you will find are 1N4001, 1N4007, 1N5408 and 1N914. These numbers represent diodes with different voltage and current ratings, used for various purposes from low power signal processing to high current rectification. In summary, the PN junction diode is simple, reliable, and plays a vital role in modern electronics. It allows current to flow in one direction while blocking it in the other, and it is found in almost every circuit from small gadgets to large industrial systems. Next, we will move on to another important component, the Zener diode, and see how it helps regulate voltage in electronic circuits. A Zener diode is a special type of diode designed to allow current to flow not only in the forward direction, but also in the reverse direction, when the reverse voltage exceeds a specific value known as the Zener breakdown voltage. It is one of the most useful components in voltage regulation and protection circuits. Just like a normal diode, the Zener diode has two terminals an anode and a cathode. The symbol of the Zener diode looks similar to a standard diode except that the vertical line on the cathode side has small bent edges. These bent lines represent the Zener breakdown property of the diode. The letter A stands for anode and the letter K stands for cathode. Let's understand how the Zener diode works. In forward bias, it behaves just like a normal diode. It allows current to flow from the anode to the cathode when the applied voltage is greater than the forward threshold which is usually around 0.7 volts for a silicon diode. In reverse bias, however, the behavior is very different. When the voltage applied in the reverse direction is below a certain value, the diode does not conduct, just like a normal diode. But as the reverse voltage increases and reaches a particular value known as the Zener breakdown voltage, the diode suddenly starts conducting in the reverse direction. This happens without getting damaged because the diode is specially designed to handle this reverse breakdown safely. 
Once the Zener breakdown voltage is reached, the voltage across the diode remains almost constant, even if the current changes. This property makes the Zener diode extremely useful for voltage regulation. For example, if the Zener diode has a breakdown voltage of 5.1 volts, it will maintain about 5.1 volts across it, even if the input voltage or load current varies. The key feature of the Zener diode is its ability to maintain a constant output voltage, despite variations in input voltage or load conditions. Because of this, it is widely used as a voltage stabilizer in electronic circuits. Zener diodes are also used for over-voltage protection. When the voltage in a circuit rises beyond a safe limit, the Zener diode conducts and diverts the excess current, protecting the components from damage. Another common use is as a reference voltage source in precision circuits, where a stable voltage is needed. Let's look at some examples. Common Zener diode part numbers include 1N4728A, which has a breakdown voltage of 3.3 volts, and 1N4733A, which has a breakdown voltage of 5.1 volts. Another widely used family is the BZX55C series, available in different voltage ratings for various applications. To summarize, a Zener diode conducts in both directions, but it is the reverse conduction that makes it unique. When the reverse voltage reaches the Zener breakdown voltage, it allows current to flow in reverse and keeps the voltage stable. This simple yet powerful characteristic is the reason why Zener diodes are found in almost every regulated power supply and voltage protection circuit. The Zener diode is reliable, inexpensive, and essential for maintaining constant voltage levels. In the next topic, we will learn about the Schottky diode and see how it achieves fast switching and low forward voltage drop. A Schottky diode is a metal to semiconductor junction diode known for its low forward voltage drop and very fast switching speed which makes it highly efficient and ideal for high frequency and power applications. Unlike a regular PN junction diode that uses P-type and N-type semiconductor materials, a Schottky diode uses a junction formed between a metal and an N-type semiconductor. This unique construction gives it its special characteristics. When the diode is forward biased, electrons move directly from the N-type semiconductor into the metal region. Because there are no holes involved as in a PN junction, there is no charge storage at the junction. As a result, the current can start and stop almost instantly, which gives the Schottky diode its extremely fast switching speed. The voltage drop across a Schottky diode when it is conducting is typically between 0.2 and 0.4 volts, which is much lower than the 0.7 volts of a silicon PN junction diode. This low voltage drop means less power is wasted as heat, making Schottky diodes highly efficient for use in power electronics. When the diode is reverse biased, the metal semiconductor barrier prevents current flow, similar to a normal diode, but the reverse leakage current is slightly higher due to the thin barrier region. The key feature of a Schottky diode is its very low forward voltage drop and extremely fast recovery time. Because of these properties, it is widely used in circuits that require fast response and high efficiency. In power supply circuits, Schottky diodes are used as rectifiers to convert AC to DC with minimal losses. They are also used as freewheeling diodes in power converters where they allow current to circulate smoothly when the switching device turns off. In digital logic circuits and radio frequency applications, their fast switching ability makes them ideal for signal detection and high speed switching. Common part numbers for Schottky diodes include 1N5819, 1N5822, SS14, and MBRS340. Each of these is designed for specific voltage and current ratings, depending on the power level of the circuit. In summary, the Schottky diode is preferred wherever high-speed operation and low power loss are needed. It is efficient, reliable and essential in modern electronics, especially in switching power supplies, RF circuits and converters. Its combination of low voltage drop and fast switching response makes it a key component in energy-efficient electronic design. A light-emitting diode, or LED, is a semiconductor device that emits visible light when forward biased, converting electrical energy directly into light through the process of electroluminescence. When voltage is applied in the forward direction, electrons from the N-type region and holes from the P-type region move toward the junction and recombine in the active region, releasing energy in the form of photons, which is observed as light. The color of the emitted light depends on the semiconductor material and its energy band gap, meaning different materials produce different colors such as red, green, blue, or white. The symbol of an LED is similar to a normal diode symbol but with two small arrows pointing outward showing the emission of light. The anode is connected to the longer terminal while the shorter terminal represents the cathode. 
The forward voltage required for an LED typically ranges from about 1.8 volts for red LEDs to around 3.3 volts for blue and white LEDs depending on the color and material. When forward biased, LEDs allow current to flow and emit light, but when reverse biased, they block current like a normal diode, although they are not designed to withstand high reverse voltages. The key feature of an LED is its ability to convert electrical energy into light efficiently, producing very little heat, consuming very low power, and lasting much longer than traditional light sources, such as incandescent or fluorescent lamps. LEDs have no fragile filaments, making them more durable and reliable, with a typical operating lifespan of up to 50,000 hours or more. Because of their high efficiency, long life, and compact size, LEDs are used in countless applications. They are widely used as indicator lights on electronic devices, in seven-segment displays, and as light sources in modern lighting systems, including bulbs, tube lights, and decorative lighting. In addition, they are used in automotive headlamps and brake lights, traffic signals, street lighting, and backlighting for LCD screens. Infrared LEDs are used in remote controls, security sensors, and optical communication systems, while high-power LEDs are used in projectors, stage lighting, and flashlights, where intense brightness is required. Some common LED examples include the standard 5mm red LED, the 1N5631 infrared LED, the HLMP6000 red LED, and the SSL80 series high-power LED. In summary, the light-emitting diode is one of the most efficient and versatile electronic components ever developed. It converts electrical energy into light with high efficiency and low power consumption, operates instantly, and offers exceptional reliability. Its principle of operation based on electron-hole recombination makes it a fundamental part of modern electronics, revolutionizing display and lighting technology across the world. A photodiode is a light-sensitive semiconductor device that converts incident light into an electrical current, operating mainly in reverse bias and used for precise light detection. It is specifically designed to respond quickly to variations in light intensity and is one of the most important components in modern optical and sensing systems. A photodiode has a similar structure to a PN junction diode, but with a transparent window or lens that allows light photons to strike the junction region. When light falls on the diode, photons with sufficient energy excite electrons from the valence band to the conduction band, creating electron-hole pairs in the depletion region. These charge carriers are then separated by the electric field across the junction. Electrons move toward the N region and holes move toward the P region, resulting in a photocurrent proportional to the intensity of the incident light. This means that the stronger the light falling on the photodiode, the higher the current it generates. In normal operation, the photodiode is reverse biased, which widens the depletion region and reduces junction capacitance, enabling